Hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name's Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. We sure do. And today we've got a fun and a welcoming wreath for you. So I'm excited about this one. Yeah, this is going to be a pineapple welcome wreath. Yep. And we have the cutest pineapple sign that I'm excited to show you guys. Yes. So, so cute. Look at that. And big. It's a really big, pretty sign. Yeah, so this is this is going to definitely, definitely be the focal point of our wreath today. That's right. So welcome everyone. Thank y'all so much for joining us today. We are so glad to have you guys with yes, us. Yes, we are. Now this pineapple sign came from oh, Michael's. Mm-hmm. It sure and did. Isn't that just so cute with the welcome there? Now we already have it attached to our wreath, and I'll, I'll let you yes, explain and what how we, we got did that. was um, we actually have it wired on. Uh, we I drilled a little hole here in the bottom just so that I could wire the bottom on so that it wouldn't flap up. Um, it actually has hangers in the back that uh, you really can't see, but you could use those to wire. Amanda did, did that. She used the wire hangers on the back to wire the top part, but you still will need to drill a hole for the bottom because you do need to make sure that it's secure. Now, I didn't do that. I actually put my 26 gauge wire right around the top. Oops, let me not get that in the glue. And you really cannot see it. Mm -hmm. So it's fine to just do that. I just put a piece of the 26 gauge wire, floral wire, right around the tops on both sides and then tied it in the back. Very, very yeah. easy. And so we're just using the Floracraft. You can get that at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, anywhere like that. Yes, yes. Just, um, just the, whatever you have yeah. on hand should work. It, it will. Now, um, you can get the 24 gauge. I like the 26 gauge because you actually could can tie it in a knot if you want to, or you can just twist it, whichever yeah. you prefer. So like she said, I've just got mine just attached from the little whatever you, little metal things that they've got on yes, the back. Yes, the little hangers. Um, it worked just fine. Yes, it does. But it's on it there securely. But it was a little securely. wiggly, so that's why we just drilled that one extra hole. I've just got the one extra hole there yep. in the bottom. Yep, and that's so, what I did. Yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started, let you know what we're working with. We do have an 18-inch grapevine wreath for this, because it's a pretty big size. Yes, you're going to need so, an 18-inch for yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you might even could get away with a 24-inch if, if you wanted to even go bigger. Yes. But we've got our 18-inch grapevine wreath and then of course our little sign. That's right. We have, let's show you guys these. I, I'm going to show them these because I'm so oh, excited about cute. these. Are these not the cutest? I don't know if you can see, but they're pineapples. Yeah, Look pineapples. at them. It's little a uh, pineapple bush. Isn't that the cutest? I'm that, so excited. That's from Michael's as well. Yeah. And then we've got some tropical flowers, some hibiscus. You can get those Michael's um, you know, pretty much anywhere will have them. You may have to get them in the stem section, though, if you can't find a bush. Yes, I think these those. actually came from Joann's, I believe, but you can get them from just about anywhere. Yeah, of course, we got, like she said, our little pineapple, some other little kind some of... little dahlias. Um, yeah. I think. Summery looking flowers, some yellow hydrangeas. Yeah. We've got there. We're going to use the lilies again because they kind of have that tropical look. We exactly. used those, uh, a week or two week. ago. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. And then we've got some greeneries um, that we're going to be using. We do have some boxwood. Now, this is not the typical boxwood that we that we use. We This is more of a, it's kind of got more of a lime green color, it does, which really yeah. goes with this tropical feel. So if you can find some of that, that would be good. I believe that's from Joann's. It is. And then, I don't know what these leaves are called, but they... Uh, it's some kind of fern. Yeah, but, they uh, kind of look they kind of look tropical. So yes, they do. We're so for. we're using those. So we've got those. And we may use some filler. And then, yeah, we've some got some fern, Boston. Things like that. But those are the main... And did you show them the little yellow flowers? No, I didn't show Oh, yeah. Them. We're going to use our little, our cute little flowers from Amazon. Yeah. Our Amazon. Love. Love. Our Amazon find. Fun. That's right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started making our bow. Now we're gonna be doing a stacked bow today. I am using my Bow Dabber Bow Maker. So if you don't have one of these, we love ours. We use it almost all, all the time. The time. Um, I've already got my tails cut at 18 inches and I'm gonna go ahead and, and put those on there. So I've got this, um, this plaid ribbon that's really got all the colors 
the orange and yellow and just the really bright pretty colors in it that I'm going to be using. And then I've got the Swiss dot and I well, use We this. love some Swiss dot. Oh, we love to use this. Love so, it. Of course. And it's just fun. It is so. fun and it's just, I just love it. And then I also have some seven eighths inch, um, just a sheer kind of a aqua color that's going to go with our sign Yeah, it well. just kind of matches the sign and the lilies. All right, so I've already got my tails in there, just like that. Uh-oh. Throwing things around yeah, here. throwing it around today. All right. So this ribbon is actually the same on both sides, so it doesn't matter which side you put flat. So I'm just going to put it like that and make my, my loop. Now I'm going to make five-inch loops for this, and I'm eyeballing it. They're about five inches. This ribbon, because you don't, you don't even have to twist it when you put it in, because it's the same on both sides. So you just make another loop. And if you're not measuring with a measuring tape or a measuring mat, you can just pull your loops up and just make sure they're even. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make all my loops of this ribbon. Yes, because this is a stacked bow. It, I don't remember if you said that, yeah, but that's what we're using. I think using. I did, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, these are gonna be, all be the same size. So you just can use the one in front of it just to measure it and make sure that it's relatively close. And now I'm going to have a total of six loops of this, so three on each side. This is not going to be a real huge bow. No, we don't want anything to take away from the sign. All right, and now I'm going to add in my Swiss dot. So pull some of that out there. Now this is different uh, on both sides, so it's got a printed pattern side and then it's just got the plain side so when you have it where it's not the same on both sides you just want to make sure you put your pattern side face down and I always make sure I've got a little bit over here about an inch or so over here on my left hand side now these are going to be about an inch shorter these loops so they're going to be four inch loops and again I am eyeballing it <laughs> yeah. with this you just stepping down yeah just, just step a down little and, and it doesn't have to be perfect you just want to step down each time just a little. Yeah, with each ribbon. Yeah. Now, each ribbon loops, though, are going to be the same. Yeah, exactly. And again, I'm going to have six loops of this, so three on each side. But the difference with this one is I do have to twist. So I have to twist and then make my loop. Okay, that way it makes the pretty pattern side face up. Twist and make my loop. And I just make sure that they're all even. Twist and make my next loop. All right, so I can cut this off because I am done with it. I leave about a half an inch or so, just enough so that it doesn't come flying out of the bodabra. Now these are just gonna be little bitty loops. And this is uh, just a sheer wired ribbon. It's a little bit kind of tricky to work with because we're just gonna make tiny little loops with it. So you just always want to make sure that you hang on to one end with your finger. Now these are the same on both sides too, so you don't have to twist. And if you want to, you could even make the little loops before you put it into the bodabra. Yeah. But it I'm may be gonna, easier just to hold them in your hand. Yeah, and make them, but either way. Because this, this is real flimsy. This sheer ribbon is really flimsy. But these are just little tiny three inch loops. I may even make a couple of little two inch. They don't have, these don't have to be no, the they, same. They How many did you be, put in that other one? I, I think it was remember. about 10. 10 okay. Yeah. I mean, you can just, just make as many as you want just to make a full little mm -hmm. center. Yeah. Almost like you're making the center of a flower, mm -hmm. sort of. these last two just a little bit shorter. This is, that's, probably about, that's probably enough. I could finish off this, the rest of this ribbon, but I think I'll leave it at that. Yeah. All right, so this is what it looks like in the bow dabber before we take it out. And so to take it out, you know, I've got my, my wire down here. You're gonna keep a thumb right there on the center. Always, never let go. <laughs> keep a finger there. Yeah. And you're gonna put the two ends through the loop just like that and pull it out. And now I wiggle it back and forth to make sure that it's really secure. All the ribbons are really secure And she's in there. pushing down at the same yeah. time. 
Okay, and then I open up my two ends and I come around the back. And I'm really holding it very yeah, secure don't the let whole up time. That tension that you've got on it. And I twist. I take my ends and I twist. I twist about probably about seven or eight times because I like to make sure that that it's in there and it's not going anywhere. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna clip off. Well, I guess that's good. All right. So now this is what it looks like when it comes out of the Bodabra. Now we're gonna fluff it. And to do that, you just take your hand and put it inside the loop and just pull. So pull one loop one way and one another. And these little ones, they kind of have a mind of their own. Yeah, they're gonna do what they want to. But I do sure. like to try and straight fluff them out as much as I can. But that's why you wanna do several. You want yeah. a, you know, a good, good many in there in the center because they are gonna do what they want to. Yeah, and then I just take my other loops and I just start pulling them around. And that'll take you a few minutes to make sure you get everything, you know, where you want it. All your loops adjusted. Just like that, all the way around. It's so colorful, I love yeah. that. Yeah, but it's not so, so big that it yeah. like overtakes, because our sun is for sure the focal point. Our star. Yep. And I do love it. And I tell you what, I love pineapple. I do too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'll probably fluff that out just a little bit more, but I'm going to go ahead and attach it because, of course, you know, if you watch us, that I end up having to fluff it again like three oh, times. Oh, yeah, several times. <laughs> yeah. Before we're done. That's just the All way right. it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. Yes, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Bright and colorful. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna put it about at five o'clock on my ring mm -hmm. base. And it will cover up the sign just a little bit. But just a little okay. corner, but that's okay. Just a little bit. And with this one, I'm gonna kind of weave it through, weave one of the ends of the wire through and attach it. I've got kind of a thick base. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll just go around the whole thing, but this one's really thick, so I'm going to weave it through there. Yeah, that just helps you to secure it a little mm -hmm. tighter if you can weave it through. Now, if you can't, you know, and if it's too tight or anything, it'll be fine yeah. to go around the whole thing. And then just twist it several times around the back of the grapevine. Because, of course, we're going to have flowers and things oh, around this yes. too, so we'll readjust that. Now, we're going to start greening our wreath. So, I'm going to first take my pretty fern, and I love this. It does have that tropical feel. Tropical so, I'm, vibe. yeah, and I am using our glue skillet, our Sherbinder glue skillet here to just dip the ends of my fern in there. And I'm going to start in the very center, just like this. Now, I'm going to do this one just, oops, i got to turn backwards. Let me turn it around, sorry. There we go. Okay. I'm going to do this just a little bit different um, from what I usually do, because I usually, if you've watched me, you know I do my cross usually first. But this one, I'm going to put all three. So, I put the center one in first, because I'm going to put three at the top here. And now I don't want this to be facing like that. I want it kind of more straight up. Just, it's it's just still kind of, kind of going just yeah. a little bit that way, but I don't want it, you know, falling completely over. And then I'm gonna put one on the other side. Almost looks like the top, like of, a the top of a pineapple, exactly. This is a big one. I don't have a whole lot of room here. So. I know, that's, so, that's so the bad I'm gonna be thing. taking up whole table. So just like that. And then we're going to do the bottom. Now with the bottom, I'm not, I'm going to come off of center just a little bit. So I'm not going to have it exactly in the center because I'm going to put two that are going to sort of be in the center. They're going to be about a couple of inches apart or maybe an inch and a half. I just want to make sure they're the same down at the bottom. 
Yes, I've got glue all over me already. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here and put one just like that. It's not wanting to hold. So if you guys are working on any, any fun wreaths or even just any kind of project. Yes, I us, love to hear about let that. Let us so. know what you guys are working on right now. Yes, and then I'm going to move my tails of my bow and come out just like that. So I've got all of my green yard. I just want to make sure these two on the side are about the same length. Just like I did with the two center. I'm gonna space mine out a little bit better. Yeah. Here. Just here's so how you wanna see. Yeah. I'll Just see kinda now. like that. Yeah. Okay. And of course it does not have to be perfect because no, it's still it gonna does put not. So That's much right. Here. So now we're gonna take some of our other fern and we're gonna kinda fill in around our bigger. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut some of this off. Now, this also is one of our fun little Amazon mm -hmm. finds. So, if you, I'll uh, put the link. Yes, because I am loving the ones that we have found. And so, if you can, if you guys can get this, I highly recommend it. I mean, it's it's a good price. It is a very good price, and <clears throat> they just they've got so many of them. Oh, that's missing all of those. And uh, a lot of different kinds of greenery. Yeah. So I am loving them. Okay. So I am just going to fill in at the top by putting a couple here at the top. Just like that. I'm going to put one more. So I've got one on either side of the center one. This is really, uh, this is, with this sun, you, I mean, you could do it all in greenery. Yeah, you really could. I mean, could. you could just use you a couple flowers if you wanted to. Things. Yes. I mean, you know. You really the could. The sun is the star, so you could do really anything you wanted to with it. Now I'm putting one of these in the center between my two other ferns just like that and then I'm just putting one of these in between each one and this is really just to give us a good base <clears throat> to put our flowers You notice I've left the sides open and we are going to do something with those but not yet. So now let's get to some of these cute little pineapples. It's already looking cute. It is, isn't it? These pineapples are just... Aren't they? They are just really so cute. cute. I'm so glad we found those. And again they came from Michael's. Yep. Not, I don't think I've seen Michael's have those before. Though. I have never seen them before. It's creative. So I was tickled when I found these. So, so cute. I'm trying to decide how I want to do the grass. Yeah, I don't absolutely. think I'm going to push them all the way up to the top. Because that way they'll kind of hide the pineapple and I don't want that. I'm going to put one right up here in the middle at the top. So cute. Alright, gotta get it in there good. And if you notice, we're just kinda yeah, I had to cut a little off of mine too, it's a little too long. 
Yeah. If you notice, we're just kind of building on the base. Like, that's, exactly. that's what we're doing right now before we put any of our flowers or anything on. put a couple more and I'm just kind of pushing it's got the grass but I'm just pushing it up just a little bit I don't want a lot of it up you know on top of it so I'm just kind of pushing it a little bit these are so so adorable do they have them in other colors or just the pink? I, all I saw was the pink They'd be cute. And they would, wouldn't too. they? They really would. Maybe ours didn't have it. Maybe it may else. not. That's that's true. I need to check online and see. Got some more, but I think I am going to hold off on putting any more and for right now. So let's save those. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my lilies. These are so prominent, I wanted to get these put in exactly where I wanted them first. And then we'll start adding some of our others. Just cutting them off the stem. These are really pretty. Aren't they? They're just so pretty. Okay. I am going to put my first one just right up here in the top. These are really cute too because they match the sun so well. They I don't really know, it might be hard do. for you guys to see it, but they're like the perfect color. They are, aren't they? And it's really hard to find. It this is. Color that that's a very hard color to find. Okay, now I've got the little pod that I am going to put just right in here. Just to continue with that color. Right there. Okay. And then I am going to put this one down here. I'm just going to move my tails and I'm just going to bring it down here in the bottom. And, you know, remember we always keep our stems really long. Yes. So that's going to allow you to really be able to manipulate your flower exactly. wherever you need it to go. And it's really gonna help with just the size and all that. That is exactly right. I, I cannot stress how important that is to do that. Okay, now I'm going to take one of my little, the small, uh, my, this hydrangea bush, bush has some large ones, some me, medium ones, and some small ones. So I'm first gonna take one of my smaller ones and I'm gonna bring it right up here on this side at the top. Just right in there. And then I'm going to bring this one just kind of here towards the middle at the bottom. Get it to go where you need it. Yeah, sometimes they can. They want to be aggravating. Yeah, they can. There we go. Okay. And. Are you keeping your leaves on? Um, 
I kept that one on. I may end up taking, I'm going to take this one off because that one's just going to be right in the way, I think. This one I'm going to bring right here at the top, at the bottom corner, but at the top of the bottom corner. Does that make sense? <laughs> that in there. This is already so vibrant and it colorful. Is. Okay. Now I've got these. I just think these are gorgeous. These, these are hibiscus. Really Aren't they beautiful? These. I love these. Okay. So my first one I am going to bring here in the top, just kind of in the middle. I'm just going to let it kind of just fall forward, just like that. You know, I think I'm going to take, let's see if I can pull that behind. I have to actually, I'm not happy with that. Here we go. Yeah, mine's kind of sticking out. Too. Yeah, I just kind of tucked it behind it. I may end up taking it off. Off. Yep. Okay. And this one, I am going to bring right here in the top. And I'm actually, I left my stem long, but I'm actually putting it in the stem down through my grapevine. So it's just kind of going to hang forward just a little bit, just like that. Yeah, that's the only thing with the hibiscus is that the stems are kind of floppy. They are. Which I know they're intended to be that way, but you do kind of just want Yeah, you've got to kind of get them exactly mm -hmm. so that so that when they fall, they fall exactly where you want them to. But they are kind of weakly, and that's yes. how they're supposed to be. Yeah, it is. Floppy. For sure. Okay, I think I'm going to put this other one down here in the bottom on this side. This way really quickly just to see if I can make it do. They are so pretty. Mm -hmm. though. They really are. If I can get it to hang like I want it to. Yeah. Pretty but floppy. Yep. But I mean, they scream. But it does, it so, does, and yeah. it and it. Uh, even though yeah. they're that floppy kind of stem, it still is worth using them because mm -hmm. they are just really beautiful. And I mean, you just gotta have something like that in one like this. And I know a lot of times in the stores you'll find they're they're red, but it's not really yeah quite the, as common to find the pink. no really you can't pretty you pop. don't exactly you don't find the pink like you do the red, and I just love the pink. I think they're so pretty. Okay, so that's where we are so far. I may, I'm trying to decide if I want to add one more because I do love these. But I don't want to cover up the top of my Pineapple? My pineapple either, so I may just wait to decide. I think I'll wait on those to decide after we get more in here. Yeah, we'll just put those to the side for now. Yep. Okay, now we're going to add some of our little orange. I think these are marigolds. That's what they kind of look like to me. So that's what we're going to call them. 
little Mary Bones. Mary so Bones. I'm going to bring one right here on this side. And y'all notice, I'm sure that we are really not putting anything on these sides because we don't want to cover up our signs. So we're being really intentional to leave those uh, like we've got them. not doing what I want it to. I know, sometimes they just won't do what you want them to. Well, kinda hard to see back here behind this. Oh uh, yeah. Hot apple. I'll put it over here. I'm going to put a couple down in the bottom. So I'm going to bring one right here in the top. Just like that. Of course, you could substitute whatever flowers. I mean, you could use... Yes, you definitely you know, could. Other tropical flowers if you wanted to. Yes, any, any in these colors would work. I'm going to bring one right here on this other side of the boat. But apparently, one of my little ones fell off, yes, so I'm going to cut that little stem off so that it looks like it came that way. Oops, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> At least that wasn't hot glue. Right? No, that's true. Hey, hey, that, that would not would be the not, first time either. No, it wouldn't. I was fixing to say that very thing. All right, and I'm going to put this one down here under the bow, just like that. Okay. Okay. Look at it this way for just a minute. Okay, now let's see if we can add, just sprinkle a few little pineapples. Yeah, they're so cute. Yeah, but I want to keep them up. I don't want, you know, you could put them down at the bottom, upside down, and we, we may end up doing that, but I want to put at least a couple around my bow. You could take some of those little leaves. I think I may take some of those off the big long. Yeah, some of them leaves. are kind of, mm-hmm. Kind of put them throughout your bow. Yeah, that's a good idea. Very good idea. Love these. They're really too cute. Not to, to just, use yeah. exactly. That was what I and was. And I mean, thinking. you know how you know. No need to really save them. No. Or, you know, if you can use them, I would. They're just yep. cute. Up like that, and so we're just sticking these right through the grapevine, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and then just pulling the ribbons around them exactly right. Just a second so I can get these exactly like I want them. Okay, let's see here. 
is my other. I'm gonna put this other. Don't you have one more? Mm, uh, yeah, I think so. I'm gonna bring it right here in between these two high branches, just like that, just to bring that color kind of all over. all my pineapples so yeah. let me see and we'll see if I can figure out I'll we'll bring one over here on this side I think but I'm still going to make sure that it's even with my sign that it's not coming out any further over this way from my sign. Which side to do? See, I did it right here. Yeah, just right in there. We'll show it. There we go. Yeah, they, these are so smooth. Okay, put this one right here. And I think now I am just going to fill in with my little yellow because I want to bring in just a little more of the bright yellow. So I'm just going to fill in a few little places here and there where we've got some holes. Just use these kind of as my greenery to hide holes, but it's going to add that whole extra dimension to it. And, you know, I know we said earlier, these are our little Amazon find. I will tell you that the yellow ones are a plastic. They're actually They're very plastic, plastic, yes. But they go really good with, with like tropical things. They do, too. and they're just so cute. So I am just kind of putting these Just around like that. I just think these add something to the whole design when you start adding these. They're fun. They kind are so much fun. And a little three dimensional. They do. Look. They definitely do. that pineapple is one of those fruits that I could eat. Oh my goodness, I love them. The time. Yeah. And my kids love pineapple too. Yes. And it's got so many good properties. I mean, it's so good for you. 
Of course, don't ever tell the kids that. Yeah, then they won't want to Yeah, out. so don't tell them that, but they are so good for you. So for this one, we, we really want it to look like, it, you know, the bottom is heavier than the top. Yes, Kind of exactly. like a pineapple yep. in the way that it's shaped. That's so that's exactly, what we're kind of going that's, for. That's exactly this. That is the goal. I knew I had some more. Oh, you didn't four. know what had happened to them, huh? We're getting wild with these mm -hmm. flowers. Well, this one is so big and I don't have much I know it. table I space know. over here, so I'm knocking stuff It's over. a big difference from using yes. an 18 inch oh, yeah. like this and a 14 inch, which is what we usually use. Uh, it's a huge difference. This is going to be a pretty, pretty big wreath. Very there. substantial size, yes. I know uh, when y'all first saw this sign, you probably thought, what in the world? That thing is so huge. Because yeah. that's what she thought. When she I don't saw know it, you if remember? you guys can even You can't even see how, how big, big it really exciting. is. I know it. Because it is, it's a big one. But don't let that scare you away from using it. Because really it is cute. too cute. And right now, all I'm doing, I added a couple of little ferns right here where I, you could see the grapevine a little bit because I don't really want to see that. So I am just adding just a few of these right here at the bottom just to kind of help cover that up. Yeah, I took mine off. Yeah, I just did too, because I did not like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
tough on little of the ferns just in the middle here just to have a few kind of sticking out just a little bit. Actually, we said we were going to use boxwood, uh, and we, we did. never ended up using it. We so. had, yeah, so yeah. I don't, I don't think I want to use it oh. now. I think I'm just going to use the fern. But you could use a different greenery if you wanted to. Yeah. But I kind of just like that. Kind of coming out here and there. Let's see. I got some more. Maybe not. You don't have any extra fern no, over there. I'm running it. I'm out of it. I'm on my last piece. Yeah. I could use a little more. Okay. Well, hold on just a second while you're doing that. I'm going to see if I can find some. Course, this is just personal preference. You, you know, you could have stopped a long time ago if you wanted to. I or, had more. or you could keep adding. Yes. It's totally up to you. Which is something that I tend to do. I keep adding and keep adding until I finally have to just say, no, stop. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, let us know if you're like us and <laughs> just like. I have just, a hard time stopping. Yeah, I want to make sure that I get my greenery all around my bow so that it is good and supported. Get some up under here, hey. That's just going to help your tails to stand out if you make sure to put greenery up under those. It did, didn't it? Looks like a party. Pineapple party. Pineapple party. Welcoming pineapple party. Yeah. Call this one. That's what we could call it. A couple more of these in the top, and then I think I'm calling it done. One more little orange marigold in the top because I have a little space that I don't love up there. So that price tag off. There we go. And that stuck to my finger. And this is one too. I mean, you know, there's really you know, so much you could do with yes, it. Yes. If yeah. you wanted to just use the greenery at the top and just the flowers on the bottom, sure, you could, you do, could that. do that. Mm -hmm. um, that was, you know, that would look cute too. Oh, there's all. I mean, that's the truth. If you, if you just wanted to use 
uh, greenery and just some small little flowers, you know, just, and, and have this as your, your main thing. You could do that. I mean, there's right. just so much. Of course, you know, we like flowers and yep. color and we definitely have all that going on here. No doubt. So vibrant. It is. And this would look great, you know, if you're having some kind of Luau. Luau, wouldn't that be fun? Some kind of party like that. Boy, I tell you what, I, I, that makes me think. I can remember as a kid in the 70s and my parents had a Luau party for one of their birthdays. And I just remember decorating and helping Mama decorate for the Luau. It was so much fun. That would be fun. It we would. need to do that one time. Yes, it, would, it really was. Okay, so I am calling that done. So these are just so much fun. They are. And that's so our pineapple welcome. Pineapple welcome read. Yeah. And again, this sign came from Michael's and it mm -hmm. is pretty big. Um, so, you know, it's fun. Yep, so you will need an 18 So you will inch. need a bigger eight, though. For sure. Yeah. And the little pineapples came mm -hmm. from there. Yeah, and they're really fun, too. So I would definitely grab some of those because I've never seen Michaels have those before. No, I haven't either, and I love them. So there you go. Yeah. This was a little different, fun yeah, project that it we really did was. today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope so, too. That's um, been fun. Yeah. And so... Y'all, let us know where you're watching us from. And if you're watching us on Facebook, please be sure to follow our Facebook page yes. so that you do get notified when we release videos. If you're watching us on YouTube, if you will, please just click the subscribe button and click that little bell so you get notified when we release new videos. That's right. We try to release something every week, so you don't want to miss it. Yeah. We thank y'all so much for joining us today. We sure do. Be sure to check out our blog at gracemonroehome.com where we have tons of DIY tutorials, all kinds of stuff that will keep you busy. That's right. We thank y'all so much, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye, y'all. Bye.